So today in the United States, it's Columbus Day. I, I don't think many people actually celebrate it, but it's a thing. Some people get the day off. Christopher Columbus didn't technically discover America, as the day implies. He wasn't someone we should admire, as the day implies. Howard Zinn, in his much-quoted book A People's History of the United States, demonstrates that Columbus and his crew made certain promises to investors in Spain about finding and extracting gold from the New World. And when the gold wasn't showing up, they forced the native Indians to search, and if they didn't find any, they would cut off their hands and let them bleed to death. Practically speaking, there never was much gold where Columbus was looking. So they started gathering the Indians to send back as slaves, to show they had something with which to repay investors. Almost half of the slaves died en route. In the face of all this, documentary evidence shows that Columbus lied and negotiated his way through these business failures, promising investors slaves and gold, and wrapping his words in religious justification, writing to his investors that, thus the eternal God our Lord gives victory to those who follow his way over apparent impossibilities, writing later, let us in the name of the Holy Trinity go on sending all the slaves that can be sold. These are facts. But they're not things I imagine many people think about. And you know, facts are weird. Facts, these pieces of information that we all like to think of as autonomous, self-confirming, fundamentally true objects or even tools that we can use without consequences, doesn't really capture how they work, because facts don't mean much on their own. Facts always exist within some frame. It doesn't mean that Everything is relative, that any perspective is the right one, but, well, let me just quote the opening lines of Ursula Le Guin's science fiction novel, The Left Hand of Darkness. I was taught as a child on my homeworld that truth is a matter of the imagination. The soundest fact may fail or prevail in the style of its telling, like that singular organic jewel of our seas, which grows brighter as one woman wears it and, worn by another, dulls and goes to dust. Facts are no more solid, coherent, round, and real than pearls are, but both are sensitive. The narrator's comparison of facts to pearls, I think, describes how truth is, in many ways, something that exists between people rather than outside of them. Some facts are falsifiable, but remember that it's possible for one to live one's whole life holding onto facts that are no less facts for being untrue, but that result in the making of a truth that admires a merchant turned murderer, a truth that quotes scripture while putting people in cages, a truth that loses its sensitivity. Hey, thanks for watching. This is just a heads up that there's not going to be a video for a couple or three weeks. Uh, I'm looking to do the next video essay on November 3rd. I'm going to be out of town and not going to have much time to write and edit and all that jazz. So look for a new video on November 3rd. I might be able to get to another vlog as early as a week before that, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching and be sure and hit the subscribe button now so that you don't miss the next video in a few weeks. Thanks.